I'm Nick Pomeroy with PR Equipment here in Kearns, Texas. Hey, today we wanted to dive into the dreaded topic of emissions. This is part of a multi-part series we're going to be doing, focusing on different components and systems and functionality and things like that. But today we're focused on what's, what's actually called an SCR system, which stands for Selective Catalytic Reduction. Um, in this, or a lot of people refer to it as DEF systems, right? So this DEF fluid is what we're going to be using here. And so Massey Ferguson, and this is going to be used on that higher horsepower range of tractors. 75 horsepower and up is where you're going to start seeing this. And I don't think there's a tractor manufactured today that's able to avoid it on 75 horsepower and up. And in fact, there are other manufacturers out there that have to run both DPF, which we'll talk about in another, in another uh, video, which is typically cons considered what's a regenning tractor. Um, and there's the DEF fluid. And there are some tractors out there that might be green or orange that actually in su certain series of tractors have to use both systems. And so we're pretty fortunate with Massey Ferguson that we only have to have the DEF fluid. And I know there's a lot of talk out there and everybody, a lot of people don't like the, the, the emission systems and things like that. And I get the broader topic and, and we might even dive into that a little bit deeper in another, another video. But for, for us, we do have to use the DEF fluid and it's pretty impressive what the system does. Um, and as far as reliability, that's really the biggest reason people complain about these systems is the reliability. And yes, it, in years past, I actually spent a lot of years working for Agco or, or basically the parent company of Massey Ferguson. And when these systems were first introduced in tier three on, on some of the higher horsepower tractors and Agco made a commitment early on. They said, you know what? We know it's going there. So let's just buy, buy in early and let's just go all the way with the DEF, which now everybody's had to as well. But the nice thing for Agco is we've already got experience with these systems in the ag environment. We have, we have had our trials and tribulations with these systems and they've come a long ways. And I'm, I'm pretty proud to say that in the last two or so years of putting these tractors out, maybe even three years, basically since we've been a Massey dealer, these systems have been incredibly reliable. And I think if you own a pickup that has DEF fluid, you probably agree that, that these systems have come a long ways. Um, but I want to talk about what it's doing, how it's doing it, why we're doing it a little bit. But mainly this, like I say, this video is focused on the SCR systems or the DEF fluid style tractors. So what is going on here is there's basically two theories of, of, of emission systems. And emission's a broad concept we're going to dig into more later. But with this one, what we're doing is, is we're running this, when we went to the common rail fuel injection, we ran a little higher, inje higher injection pressure, which when we did that, it increased the temperature of combustion. What it's doing at that point is it's fusing the nitrogen and the, and the oxygen to create NOx gases, right? So we're, we're fusing nitrogen and oxygen because of the high internal combustion temperatures, we're making NOx gases. We, get, we went to the higher temperatures to get rid of the particulate matter or the black smoke. Um, we, so we went to the higher injection pressures, we got a little higher heat, we began to fuse the, this and make NOx gases, which NOx gases are not great for the environment. Um, so that's where DEF fluid come in. And what DEF fluid does is pretty impressive. So it, it's going to run through what's called a, uh, the SCR, the catalyst, right? So we've got our catalyst that's part of the exhaust system. And on this tractor, it's always a big canister. So on this tractor, it's mounted underneath the right side. And so the exhaust runs down into the catalyst system and then back up. Um, and the, so the catalyst is mounted underneath the right side. And all, pretty much the entire emission systems on this 5711 is mounted there, and it varies by tractor. But we're gonna the way this system works is the exhaust gases are gonna come out of the engine. Of course, they're super hot. It's gonna go down past a NOx sensor and an upstream temperature sensor. So this is called the upstream NOx sensor. That's telling the system how much NOx gas is coming out of the engine. And so that, that way it knows, based on a calculation, with a concentration of DEF so that the DEF sensor under here is telling it what concentration it is. And so it knows based on that and the amount of NOx gases, how much DEF it needs to inject before the catalyst. And inside the catalyst, we're gonna have that catalytic reaction, which is, which is gonna convert those NOx gases back into that nitrogen and water for the most part. It's gonna go through the second NOx sensor, which is the downstream NOx sensor is gonna tell us, hey, we did a good job at this or we did not do a good job at this and whether it needs to inject more or less DEF based on that. So it's gonna go come out and then come out back out through the tailpipe. 
And at that point, it's, it's around 95% efficient that this system is, and it's getting better all the time. They're constantly looking for improvements, but it's pretty cool what it does. Um, a lot of guys talk about the reliability. One thing to know is it is covered for five years and 3,000 hours. The entire DEF system is. And actually, in fact, everything that's emissions related on the engine is covered for that five years and 3,000 hours by, by Agco's warranty. Uh, a couple other points to notice. I, I've seen guys talk about my, my tractor's never using DEF and things like that. And that's not something you should complain about. If your tractor's not using DEF, great. Um, but one thing to know is it does not begin injecting DEF until the engine is significantly hot. It's got to heat up, and I believe the exhaust temp is somewhere around 400 degrees Celsius. I used to know the exact temp, and I don't anymore. I've, I've lost some of those facts in my head. Um, but somewhere around 400 degrees Celsius, and until that point, it does not inject DEF. So a couple points to know there is, uh, you know, if you're just firing it up to, to feed a couple bales and you're at idle and whatnot, you're never probably going to inject DEF. It's only when you really work in the tractor for an extended period of time that you're gonna notice that you're burning some DEF. And the harder you work it, the hotter the exhaust, the more NOx gas is produced, the, the more DEF that's gonna be consumed. So that's all completely normal. Um, but on top of that, so we've got, we've got that, you know, the amount of DEF is gonna be considered by that. But another thing that, that people overlook is if you did have an error code for DEF, and this applies, I don't care whether it's orange or green or whatever it is, if you did have an error code for DEF and you shut the tractor off and it, when you turned it back on, it wasn't there, that doesn't necessarily mean you don't have a problem. Until the system begins to power up, it's not gonna actually trigger any of those codes. So you've gotta get it warm to the point where it wants to inject DEF before it's actually looking at those codes. So a big picture though, I just want everybody to understand it's, it's not all that complicated of a system. More or less what we've got is we've got a supply module, which for, for, for lack of better terms is the pump, right? So that's our, that's our DEF pump and it also has a valve in there to control which direction the DEF is going. There's a dosing module in the catalyst. That's what's actually, we'll call that the nozzle, right? That's what's actually spraying the DEF. And there's two NOx sensors and a quality sensor, which is actually the pickup tube by which we're gonna suck that DEF up. Keeping in mind, there's a couple filters. So if you do run into some situations, there's a little, little screen filter on the bottom of the, of the DEF center. There's also a filter built into the, to the supply module or pump as we're gonna call it. Uh, so there are a couple maintenance items to keep in, in mind, but it's not all that complicated of a system. Uh, one or two more things we ought to mention. When you shut your tractor off and you hear that pump running, what it's doing is returning that DEF back to the tank. And it does that primarily for our northern climates where we know for a fact this DEF is going to freeze and that's okay. It is okay that the DEF freezes. So we're gonna pull that DEF back, we're gonna put it in the tank, we're gonna let it freeze. And when we go to fire the tractor up, it's got a coil that uses, that uses coolant to, to heat that DEF up. And there's also heaters within the DEF lines themselves that are gonna heat that system up, but we're not gonna, here again, we're not gonna use that DEF until it gets warm enough for the DEF to be liquid again. And once it is, we'll begin to inject DEF if it gets hot enough. So there's a couple points to notice for warmer weather climates that are a little bit different than what we deal with in Texas. We don't have a lot of DEF heating in Texas. We don't need it because we just rarely freeze DEF. But there are systems in place to deal with that. And so that, all of this has been thought out. And I think this is 2022, so it's probably been 10, 11 years since I started working on these DEF systems with Agco, maybe 12 years even, when that first DEF system come out and they've come a long ways and they're not what they used to be. But guys, and I know y'all are like, well, I'm just gonna delete it anyway. And I don't really have an opinion on that. I mean, I know from the manufacturer standpoint, that's not what we're at, that's not what we want you to do and we warranty it for a good long period for y'all, and we try to make these systems more and more reliable, so you don't need to delete it, but I don't have an opinion on that. But just a couple things, like say, I just, I think that, that once we better understand these systems, they're not all that complicated, and with Massey, they have come a long, long ways, and they're extremely reliable. If y'all have any questions or whatnot, and like say, in further videos, we're gonna dive into some other aspects of emissions. I, I know a few other things that I think would be relevant, but are probably better suited for a different video. We're gonna dive into some of that in the future, so keep an eye on out uh, for maybe our regen videos, our DPF videos, things like that. We wanna talk about all these aspects so that you guys are better informed, but also know that you know we've got you covered when it comes to emission systems. 
So if y'all have any questions, call or text 903-270-0877. You can, you can reach out to, or like us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube. We're here to help you with all things Massey Ferguson, Yanmar, Ag Spray, all, all the things that you, know, you might need for, your, for your, uh, you know, your operation. We're here to help you with those. Thanks.